out here with Jesse Green from Shapes and Nature on our way up to an area between the Grand Canyon and Lake Mead. Just out here enjoying some of the scenery. Up here near Wikiup, Arizona. Habitat is changing for the better, I would say. I just love these desert plants. This choya looks like we just missed seeing it bloom. The creosote out here, big creosote. And of course those Joshua trees, giant yuccas. Aaron's going to be a little late, so Jesse and I are going to make an unscheduled stop. What those guys are doing. Those guys, that guy's just going for it right there. But uh, we're going to go to the Camel Safari. Camel Safari. We are kind of joking about it at and first. we're doing it. But then we found out Aaron's going to be a little bit late meeting us up here. So, the Camel Safari. <laughs> this camel's better not be smokers. <laughs> <laughs> They're just animatronic camels. <laughs> They're not even real. <laughs> Did you know there's a zoo in China? Or I, yeah, it's in China that it's uh they're not real. They're like all dogs dressed up as other animals. I'm not kidding, it's an actual <laughs> zoo. Really. Did you get a identification on it yet? Not yet, but I bet I will right here. Jesse's using the Seek app. Wow, that, dude, you gotta come see this flower. Wow, that color. That's amazing. Yeah, it is. What exactly are you doing? Huh? What exactly are you doing? Foam. 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 Another IPA wasted on Jesse. I did not waste that. Literally foam. Is that lizard still there? Yeah. 
Jesse's looking at lizards, I'm looking at bugs. Let's see if we can get close enough to this. Yeah, that's what it was. I saw one at Parker Canyon Lake. Let's see what this robber fly is eating over here. Looks like another fly. Scenery ain't too bad here. There's another prickly pear over there, Jesse, that is really prickly. Yeah. It's an interesting it's one. Super fuzzy. Looks I'll different than the other. Get up there here. Maybe it's the bunny ear friends, one. Like, I finally get a reptile and of course it fucking Oh, I bet it is the bunny ear one. Look at those. They look like bunny ears. What do they do? We're out here looking for Amblichyla schwartzi. And uh, this is actually the first sign that I've seen of a beetle. All right, we came through this narrow canyon pass here. Aaron and Rachel and Jeremy went up around the corner to document some vegetation. And, I'm about to fall. and Jesse's about to fall. Yeah. This is an amazing habitat we are in. And uh, Jesse said, keep the camera on him because we've got an epic fail video here. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't result in hospitalization. All these little bunches of yellow flowers here growing out of the cliffside. Very cool. How deep does that cave go in? Pretty good. It's really cool. I'm coming up. Yeah. All right. Climbed up here into the cave. Jose did come up here. Jesse, come through here. You know what we have to do. Climb up there? I'm gonna go take a video of you standing in that opening. All right. Are you down? Yeah. <laughs> All I'm right. 100% gonna try. I can try to climb this. Just climbing down from the entrance to the cave. Almost there, and I found something here that I am quite certain is an Amblichyla Schwartzy hole. Larval burrow. Perfectly round. That's got to be it. I just came out of that cave entrance up there with Jesse. Look at that beautiful hole up there. And then, wait, what's that? It's Jesse Green. Jesse's coming down, and while he was up there, I discovered what I believe to be another Amblichyla burrow. I find it again here, there it is. Right there. Another perfectly round hole. I think when we come back tonight, we might be able to see a head capsule there. This hole here, I think has been evacuated because there's a little bit of spider web at the edges of it. First one, right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you see how that's really smooth? Mm -hmm. Yeah, smooth. That's amplified. Yeah. Yep, I got two, two more just like it, too. Uh, yeah. And yeah, I think we should it. wait till we can uh, identify the larva at the edge, you know, because they don't come up till night. Yeah. That's when they hunt well, things crawling by. Really, really they are very sensitive to light. I, don't I think... walk into the room and they go. Yeah. I don't think that snake cam is that small. Uh, yeah, and, and all three holes are of a similar size. Where are the other They're two? They're L2s then. The other one, there's another hoodoo right here. Good, good on you. Yeah, that's a Without a doubt. That's not a bee. Let's see. Right there, underneath the stick. Yeah, you see how, yeah, that's that's really well smoothed. The edge isn't as beveled right as the here. other one. Yeah, that one was on more that's of an a incline. To me. Mm -hmm. That's a yes. Mm -hmm. Right about where your hand is. Here? Somewhere maybe oh. at the base. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Aaron, you should see this. Yeah, that looks like a really good spot for sure. 
There's too many people up there. I'm going to stay right here. <laughs> I got my finger on it right now. Yeah, that's not as good as the first one, but I'd say that's Amblichyla as well. Mm. Yeah. That's the second best looking one out of the three. Yeah. You'll see they're, they look like little melons. Oh, yeah. And they're brown when they're mature, so mm -hmm. these guys are not. But talk about Sphinx Moth crack. I'll bet. These open up in the evening, or it, well, and they'll stay open through the early morning. These uh -huh. had to have opened up just within the last half hour. Wow. And, man, they just... Yeah, Jesse and I walked right past here. This was not blooming. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's mm -hmm. one of my favorite sphinx moth plants. So, and Hylie's uh, caterpillars will feed on this. Uh huh. Got a tarantula over here. No, you don't. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen a lot of burrows. There's. You see it? Yeah, you can see its toes. What are those marks at? Oh yeah. Goes a bat. Starting to get dark out here. It's just a really cool habitat. This red rock here. Just lines this wash the whole way up. What is that dark spot up there? What do we have here? Oh, it's a cricket. Thought maybe it was Amblichyla. It is not. Sometimes you just feel like you're in the right place for stuff. Field cricket over here. Silverfish. This is just such a cool habitat. This little agave growing right here in this crevice. That rock shelf back there. Okay, I just saw an Amblichyla. It was in this hole right here under the rock. And when my when I came back here, my light scared it back into depths under that rock. Nice little find here on the prickly pear, Monolima. Cactus longhorn beetle chewing away. You can see the damage there to the prickly pear. Got a little teneb right over here. And then over on this side, I have to look around a lot, make sure I don't miss something especially good. Well, Speaking of mist, I just missed the black hole spider going back into the hole. Well, here it is, Amblichyla shortsy. You can see that it secreted something there. Target organism. Right over here at the base of the tree, one of the predators of our nocturnal tiger beetle, Latrodectus hesperus, Black Widow. Both Aaron and Rachel said that they saw some of the specimens, some of the only specimens that she has seen said that they saw the specimens. Oh wow, that's a cool cave. They found dead specimens in the, wow. This is a very cool 
little cave. Hmm. Very neat spot. Did he squeak for you? The funny girl. Yeah. Pretty cute. I'm gonna go try and find that. Yeah, yeah it, it, it crawled under a rock. I went back to it three times. And it never uh, uh, came out. You, you will see the canyon thing? Yeah, and there's a tree a ways up. It's under one of the rocks up there. Oh. We got a Hadrurus um, <laughs> eating a Scolopendra polymorpha. Oh my god. Spadix. Uh, kind of a shame, but pretty amazing to see these two awesome predators here in their oh, natural man. habitat. Heterus spadix, yeah. black desert hairy. Oh, cool. Yeah. Chowing on a tiger centipede. What's your last name, Jeremy? Vandenberg. Are you on Instagram? Uh, I am, yeah. All right. I'm going to find you. What's your handle on there? Um, it's the Vandy 24. The Vandy yeah. 24. It's a, um... I don't, I don't post much on Is it still there or is it retreating? No, it's still there. Amazing. It's moving a tiny bit. <laughs> Guess what Jesse did while we were driving. What's that? He booked a room at the <laughs> casino. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to... No, you're gonna sleep so good, Jesse. Oh my god. You're gonna sleep so good. <laughs> is this is that is that about right, Jesse? Interrogation lamp? Where are the jewels? Where did you hide the body? Where is the F polis? <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Pack him in these things, and mm -hmm. he's just like, wait, wait, unravel that. Again. <laughs> look, at, look at Jesse's bag from the hotel here. My we travel in style. This is this is me. I have a dirty clothes bag inside the other bag. She's always 